In the name of one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to ask you a question. It's a question that I have found often useful in reading the Bible. It's one that individuals or groups sometimes use to sort of dig in to any given passage, to look for a thread that leads to some meaning for them. If you use this approach, you will recognize it immediately. You might already have looked at the gospel through this lens. But if you've never heard of this, let me just introduce it to you. It's not, it's not really that complex, so I'm, I'm sort of building it up too much already. So let me just ask you. As you listened to today's gospel, where did you see yourself? Who do you see yourself as in hearing this reading? It's a good question to consider, to see where our sympathies lie, to see where we are drawn. We might think about it for a second and move on, but let's not just sort of faint at this. Let's really work it through. Let's really do this. So, so close your eyes, all of you, really. Close your eyes and sit back for a second. Listen to me retell the story. As you listen, notice where you're standing in the story. Notice whose eyes you're looking through or who you're standing next to. So Jesus and the crowd following him are leaving a town. They are coming closer and closer to Jerusalem. Outside, they pass by a blind man whose name is Bartimaeus, begging on the side of the road. As the blind man realizes who is passing by, he begins to shout, asking for Jesus' help, begging for his healing. The people in the crowd hear him and, and shush him a little bit, not wanting a scene. Bartimaeus, however, redoubles his effort and shouts all the more for Jesus. Jesus, of course, hears this and calls him forward. The crowd, having seen this before, starts to encourage Bartimaeus, cheering him on. He presents himself to Jesus, and Jesus asks him what he wants done. Bartimaeus asks for his sight, and Jesus, Jesus gives it to him. Jesus then tells Bartimaeus to take his leave, but as Jesus and the crowd move on, Bartimaeus joins in. All right, you can open your eyes now. So where did you hear yourself in this story? Who did you identify with? There are, it seems, three choices. Did anyone see themselves as Jesus? No, some joker always raises their hand just to make fun of me when, they, when we do this. And I, I'm not sure what I would do if someone really thought that. I, I suppose it's a possibility, but... What about Bartimaeus? You don't, you don't have to raise your hands, but what about Bartimaeus, the blind beggar? After all, there's some good resonance to be had there. We all need healing one way or another. We all feel lost, sometimes unable to see where we are going. And even to just, to just hear Jesus pass by is to be drawn nearer to him. But I wonder, what about the crowd? How many of you identified with the crowd? Even if, even if you didn't identify, even if you were just standing there watching the whole thing happen, you were part of the crowd. If you're curious, to be fair, I should reveal, I see myself in the crowd almost all the time. I, I mean, I definitely feel like Bartimaeus occasionally. There are lots of things I need healing from, lots of blindnesses that only Jesus can bring vision to. But most times, when I come upon this gospel in my reading, I find myself identifying with the crowd. I can understand the crowd hushing Bartimaeus at first. You know, maybe there were others in the crowd hoping to be healed, and they didn't want him to jump in front of the line. Or it might have been that there was a worry that Jesus would, was getting close to healing all the people that he could, and that somehow he would run out, that there would be no more healing left when they needed it. Or perhaps there were just a few people who were tired and more and more new people joining this throng. But I also, like the crowd, get excited when I hear people near me called forward by Jesus. 
when there is someone struggling in their life, lost and without vision, or, or, or even just a little off one day or another, when Jesus comes close to them and they reach out to him, I start to get excited. I cheer them on like the crowd did because I know what is going to happen. I've seen this before. Jesus coming close will transform them if they let him. And slowly but surely, wholeness will spread. Here's the thing. We are all Bartimaeus one way or another. We all cry out for Jesus to come closer to us. And we all need his healing touch in some part of our lives. But all of us are the crowd as well. On any given day, we can quiet people, push them away when they are calling Jesus. Or we can encourage them, showing them where Jesus is, leading them on. So this gospel, in an interesting way, becomes about evangelism. This church, for instance, Epiphany, is a place where people can begin their walk of faith, realizing their blindness and asking for Jesus to heal them. And we, as the crowd, figuratively but also literally, are instrumental in that. We can bring people to this church, to any number of events, leading them on towards Jesus, encouraging them the way the crowd encouraged Bartimaeus. Maybe someone you know is a little blind to all that is beautiful in life. And so bringing them to a Music Guild event could be bringing them closer to Jesus. Or perhaps you can think of someone who you know who is isolated in their life. The joy of our vineyard work or the joy of owls or any of our fellowship events can be a place where they find Jesus. The examples go on and on. EFM for the curious, our feeding program with LSS for those who want justice. Even the regular Sunday church services are places where people who have not been here yet can meet Jesus. All of these places are somewhere where you, someone you know could begin a journey with Jesus and all you have to do as the crowd is encourage them and invite them. Interestingly, this gospel then becomes not just about, steward, about evangelism, but about stewardship as well. If we as individuals, as members of the crowd, can encourage or discourage people towards Jesus... Our institutions, the assembled, organized structure that frames our crowds, can do the same as well. Each one of the spaces where we meet Jesus, from the vineyard to the music guild to Sunday morning, takes each one of those spaces takes volunteer help and financial support to happen. If the air conditioning were off all summer, that would be discouraging, wouldn't it? So, I think you see what I mean. Even just helping the church run, even giving and volunteering, is evangelism as well. A way for us to make places where people can meet Jesus, a way for us to institutionalize a vibrant and encouraging crowd that guides people closer to Jesus as they seek him. So as we read this gospel again, we realize a funny thing a very short passage about a very straightforward healing becomes a very becomes very great guidance for us we certainly recognize that we are bartimaeus that all the people around us are too all of us need jesus's presence in our lives to make us whole but we are also reminded that epiphany is a crowd standing between the bartimaeuses of the world and jesus we have a crucial role. We are called to find all the blind people in the world and to encourage them to connect with Jesus. We are called as Epiphany to bring them here and to meet him there. But we are also called to keep Epiphany strong and vibrant, a place where all of us longtime members or first-time newcomers can meet Jesus. So let us support Epiphany with enthusiasm as a place where we encourage the Bartimaeuses of the world to meet Jesus, always here. Bit by bit as we do this, the world will be healed. Bit by bit as we do this, the crowd around Jesus will grow. Amen.